I don't think there's a realer way to feel New York than waking up first thing in the morning. Today, I'm going to walk through the five boroughs of the city, making my own exploration of the New York City Marathon, but in reverse. The Ramble is my favorite place in Central Park. All you can hear and see is nature. Even though it was planned and designed, it makes me think that this is how the land may have been several hundred years ago, before Manhattan became the first borough to be built out for city living. Wow, I picked a crazy day for this. It is hot outside. I've never seen so many open hydrants. This is wild, man. Arthur Avenue in the Bronx is considered to be one of the last great little Italy's. I'm not too big on history, but I think it's rather interesting for a place settled by the Swedish to have such a strong Italian heritage, and really Americana at that. The birthplace of hip hop, I'm sure, is a very debatable topic. But from what I understand, this building behind me on Sedgwick Avenue in the Bronx is where DJ Cool Herc threw a party in 1973 with a guitar amp and two turntables. This moment was considered to be very pivotal in what we now know as one of the most influential genres of music in the world. Right there behind me is the Unisphere, commissioned for the World's Fair in 1964. You can kind of describe that as the Olympics for creativity. I familiarized this place with skateboarding because it was in all the videos that I watched growing up. Queens is the most diverse urban area in the world. Over 138 different languages are spoken here on a daily basis. These massive observation towers were also built for the second World's Fair and looked like you could launch a spaceship off them. I was recently visiting a friend in the Netherlands and he told me I had to take the train to Brooklyn. I said, Brooklyn? He says, yeah, the real Brooklyn. I thought he was making a joke, but it turns out that the Dutch first settled here and that's where this borough derived its name from. My first interactions with BK were at Habana Outpost in Fort Greene, but I like being by the water. This spot in Dumbo is pretty nice. Here in Staten Island, Wu-Tang Clan just received the honor of their very own district. Somewhat recently, I read RZA seemed to have sight taking trips off the island into the city as a way to breathe and constantly switch up creativity. I feel I can kind of relate because when I was growing up, I gained most of my interests and ideas by taking trips to California. Living in America. This is a very big view that I haven't seen before. I was looking for the Statue of Liberty and then found out that I can't walk to it. So I'm just going to have to do with a zoomed in view. Wow, this has been a long journey, but memorable. I love wearing sneakers this way. Fresh out the box, straight to making memories. Maestro's Marathon Shoots, classic. 